Now, what happens inside our while loop? So while our string position equals str pos, if nothing is found in the str pos, it will return a zero. So remember, zero inside here will mean a false, therefore the loop will be broken. But for now, as long as the string position is found, we want to echo out the string position. So we just simply do echo string position, and I'm just going to append a break onto that. Uh, let's just make this a bit more user friendly. We could say echo, oh, echo found at. Uh, we can even include the word. So let's say find found at. Okay. So what this is going to do is for every every oh, for every time it's found, we're going to echo the position and obviously the word. We're going to iterate, reiterate, and then we're going to put a line break on the end. But now what we want to do is we want to create a new offset because at the moment we're going to find the um, we're going to find the uh, string that's that's absolutely fine we're going to echo out the first instance of the string found within here so it will be at position two. However, then all we're going to be doing is searching from the start again. So we're going to be searching from position zero again. So we're going to be searching and we're going to find the same string. So you'll find that if you do run your page at this point then your page will probably crash. It might crash your browser because what we actually have here is now an endless loop. So now what we need to do is we need to create the offset value. And I'm going to say offset is equal to string position. So this is the current position found. Let's just run through. So if we were to find it at position two, we then need to add two onto it to begin the search from here. So string position add two. Now, why is this not good? Well, I've already explained. We've got the length of the string to find here. So that's the amount of characters to, to skip. So all I need to do is add on this variable find length. Now, we can run and test our program now to see if everything's working. So let's just refresh. And you can now see, oh, um, Oh yeah, okay. So I'm reading this as is found at, but um, obviously our word is is. So uh, let's just make this bold so it doesn't look as confusing. Confuse me for a minute there. Okay, so. Okay, so we've got is found at two. So we found it at position two. Let's just double check that. So we've got one, two, and then we've found it. Then what we've done is here from the off get we've skipped two. So we've started from this position here, and the offset has been read in here. So the offset is now being read at one, two. So it's found at two. So the offset's now starting at position four. And now we go one more and we find it at position five, which is here. We skip two and we start at position seven. And then we find it all the way up here at position 25. Then we skip another two, and it can't be found anymore. Therefore, this while loop will be evaluated to false because this value of string position will equal zero. So now we've successfully found everything. Now I know we've used a lot of variables like the find in here and the find length in here and the reason for this is now if I wanted to search for a completely different word inside here for example if I wanted to change this to string everything is now going to be updated so the find length is going to be updated which is going to be put in here so now instead of skipping two characters we're skipping one two three four five six and we're also updating this inside our function so we've only had to change one value now why is this going to be useful let's just test it out first and we'll see if it works string found at 10 so let's just check this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah it's found there so why is this useful well let's say we had a form down here and we wanted to ask the user to input a sp certain value we could pass this find variable as say dollar underscore post uh, dollar underscore get um, to find for example so we could specify or uh, we could allow the user to specify a string they wanted to find in another particular string and therefore our program that we've just created here would automatically update for whatever string was entered so that's basically how um, 
the string uh, position function works and how useful it can actually be.